Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we were going over, I was going to go over a new car thing, but turns out it was a paid resource, which is half of the 5M forums currently. So today we are going over a free resource um, that is a kind of a nicer priority resource than we covered in the previous video of priority resources. Um, so pretty much what this does is it adds a priority timer to your server um, and it shows if it's active, if it's in cooldown, who's activated it, etc, which is really, really cool. So. We're gonna check this out, we're gonna install it. It is a standalone resource, which is very appreciated um, because standalone resources are super easy. It has staff commands and player commands. The staff commands do require you to set up permissions. If you don't know how to set up permissions, I'm not gonna be covering it in this video, but I will be covering it after the ESX tutorial in about a week. I'm thinking ESX is gonna release next week. Don't hold me to that, please. Um, but I am working on it, I am getting it done. It will be out soon. Um, so pretty much to download this all you're gonna do is go ahead and click on the github link and you'll be taken here You don't have any release tab over here So in order to install it just go ahead and click the clone and download button and download it as a zip file And open it up with winzip winrar whatever you open up these zip files with inside of this folder You can see there's the client server config fs manifest This is what we're going to drag into our resources folder So you're just gonna drag this in and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and rename it and get rid of the Make sure you don't accidentally click out of it, but um, I'm just going to delete the dash main. We're not going to have the dash main, and I'm just going to remember the name JD Priority by copying it, or you can just remember it's JD Priority. Um, and then inside of here, you can see the config.lula file. We're going to go and open this up with when uh, with a uh, notepad plus plus. That's it. Um, and you can see, do you want to log? Um, if so, what's the channel name? What config color should you have? What's the permission? So you can set this up with your 5M permission. What's the cooldown time? And what location should it display on on your screen? For the location display, what I recommend doing is going in-game, changing this, and restarting through the in-game console of the resource so you can see it move in live time. If you don't know how to do that, um, I've done that in a previous video. Uh, the I think it was the HUD resource where I kind of restarted in game. I'll leave a link to it down in the description if you're interested in that. But all you have to do is go ahead and start the 5M server. Actually, not yet. <laughs> Completely forgot. Clearly, I am tired today. I do apologize. And you go back to your server data, go to your server, just CFG file, edit it with Notepad++. And then all the way at the bottom where it says ensure or start, you're just going to add a new line, which is ensure or start the name of the folder, JD underscore priority. So you'll see either start or ensure here. For me, it's ensure, so I'm just going to go ahead and add that here. Now we can start up our server, and to make sure it's started correctly, we're just going to stare at our little window here until we see started resource JD underscore priority, and we know it's started successfully, so we're going to just wait to see for that. Um, for everybody watching this video, thank you so much for all your support. If you're interested, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, join the channel if you want. Um, very much appreciated. There we go. Started resource JD priority. We know we have started up correctly. Ignore the dog in the background. Um, so we're going to actually hop in game here, check out what it looks like, and I'll be right back. All right, so we are in game now, and you can see kind of below our other um, kind of HUD resource, you can see that the priority status is inactive. It's a lot better than this one that just sits in the top of the screen. Um, so I actually prefer this little one. You can see it's actually behind the other um, HUD resource. Since I'm not an admin on the server and I haven't gone through that setup yet, I'm not going to move it around, but I am just going to go over the commands real quickly. And you can see the commands by going back to the priority overview page. And you can say if you do slash um, in progress, you can go ahead and change the priority to um, to the in progress stage, slash in progress, you can see active noodles. And if you do slash cooldown, um, it will start the cooldown. Uh, make sure you just type it correctly and you can see cooldown 15 minutes. And then if I go ahead and type slash active again, uh, or in progress again, it's actually not going to change because there is currently a cooldown up. So you can see, obviously it still has cooldown for 15 minutes. So very nice resource, very easy to set up and use. If you have any questions, put it over on the um, forums and obviously thank you so much for checking out this video welcome to snowland here i'm going to be doing a reset of my local server soon so you don't have to deal with those overlapping resources or anything in videos thank you so much to the author for making this free and available to everyone just a quick note to everyone watching i mentioned this in a few, uh, little while ago in another video please if you are going to suggest paid resources for me to review make sure the author is willing to give it to me for free i'm not going to review a resource and then use it again most likely M mainly because all my servers are private i don't have public servers there's no point for me to use these paid resources if i pay 20 bucks per video i don't even make like more than like a dollar per video or something so that's really not kind of worth it in my case to pay for those paid resources um to do videos on so if you have a paid resource you want me to do a video on and you're willing to give it to me for free for a video 
that is perfectly fine. I won't be using it again, um, so I'll do a video on it. But just keep that in mind when suggesting and uh, asking for resource reviews. It's very much appreciated because it takes a lot of time to go through everything, look for resources to review, do research on them, and all that. So thank you to everybody watching. Uh, my name is Hills. I'll see you in two days for the next video. Hopefully a 5M Chase Me video um, because we started recording those. I'm just waiting for some of the footage to finish um, uploading to the servers we use. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Hills. I'll see you in the next video.